Hello! Welcome to Technic Force Tutorials. Today's video is about how to set up conversions. Let's begin. Conversions are the number of sales you've made in comparison of the total number of people who logged in into your store or website. Conversions is a cool feature that you can also use inside our campaigns page. Let me show you how. Now let me direct you to campaigns page. So let's select a campaign to show you how to set up your conversions. To select, click View and Edit button. Here we can see all the sequence that you have made. To set it up, click on the sequence to enable the icons on the side. Select the pencil icon to edit or create a mail. Now let's create a mail. Add in your title. What's great about Pursue Up is that it helps you create a mail uniquely written for each and every one of your subscribers. And here let's type in, here's an exciting offer waiting for you. And down here is where you put the content of your mail. Let's for example say, click the link below to grab it. And you can put here the link to your website, store, or any URL that you want. To put the link, just copy the URL that you have chosen and paste it on the body. At first, the link is not clickable, and it doesn't have the blue underline yet, because you need to activate the link tab for it to recognize. Select your link and activate the link tab, and here you can modify it. Just paste in the URL and click Save. It will now then show here. Even if you edit the text, it will still direct them to the URL that you have provided. The link that you have provided is what we call landing page. Now in order for conversion feature to work, you need to set up your conversion tracking code. To do so, click on API and trackers page on the sidebar. On top is get conversion tracking code. There are two codes here. One for your landing page and other for your confirmation page. Copy this code for the landing page and paste it on the body of your website content. So now if you're using WordPress, ClickFunnels, CloudFunnels, Facebook Pixel, Google Analytics, or any similar kind of apps, they already have the tools to put in your code into the body. And these are just similar codes. So to show you where I have put in the code, let's view the source code. And here is where I have pasted it before the closing body tag. Do the same with your confirmation page. Your confirmation page is basically the page wherein the visitor can make the purchase or subscription. Like for example, here on my landing page, I click on the admission button. And it takes me here on the order page. Your confirmation page will show up after the purchase has been done. Like this. It says, Thank you, meaning the order has been placed. That link is your confirmation page. Now copy the code for it, like what you did on the landing page, and paste it on the website content before the closing body tag. Now even if your visitor do whatever they want on the landing page, as long as they have reached the confirmation page wherein you have put in the code, it will trigger the conversion feature. You can even set up a sequence when they have been converted. You can automatically send in a thank you mail. To do so, just create a sequence by clicking the plus sign. Let's name it Thank You Sequence. Set up your time and content. Let's say in the title, Hi, and their names will be automatically added here. And say, Thank you for purchasing. Add in your snippet. I'm going to add in a header. And the title goes here. Then lastly, the footer snippet. And click Save. Activate your campaign so all the sequence will then work. And that mail will be sent to your recipients or subscribers. To see, click on Mail Sending Report. And you can see here all the addresses that have been sent to mail. And your recipient will receive a mail like so. The link that we have sent when they opened and purchased, and done. The conversion sequence will be triggered. Now here is a thank you for purchasing email we have made. And that is it for today's video on how to set up your conversions on Pursue app. I hope you find this video helpful. As always, thanks for watching and see you on the next one.